Hey, I'm Lucy MacDonald from ABC Hobart. Today, Premier Peter Gutwin extended the state of emergency for Tasmania until the end of August. The situation in Victoria is, of course, very concerning. Um, while our island status is um, our best defence, uh, uh, we need to ensure that uh, we do everything that we can, and that's why yesterday we put in place the additional border measures to strengthen our safety. And, uh, we uh, obviously must continue to monitor this situation as we move forward. Uh, this morning I spoke with the Leader of the Opposition and the Leader of the Greens uh, to inform them that I'd taken advice last night uh, in terms of our state of emergency status. Uh, the state of emergency was extended for a period of four weeks from the 11th of July and would have expired today. Uh, we're going to extend the state of emergency until the end of August. Uh, this will align with the public health emergency which is in place until the 31st of August as well. Although there's no evidence of coronavirus in the state, the Premier says we need to remain vigilant and we need to make sure we have the power to react to an outbreak. We know Victoria is having significant challenges uh, with escalating cases and obviously we'll need to monitor that on an ongoing basis. The situation in other states and territories is also evolving and it's important that we retain our state of emergency through this period should we need to act. Um, importantly, and I want to make this point very clearly, Tasmania uh, does not have an emergency uh, uh, within the state's uh, boundaries at the moment. Um, but what we do is we have the risk of one that is present as a result of what's occurring in Victoria. And it's important that we maintain our state of emergency to ensure that should we need to react, that we can react swiftly. The state's public health hotline has had a spike in calls since yesterday's decision to close the border to Victorians. Here's state controller Darren Hine. Yesterday, in the last 24 hours, we had 1,200 uh, calls to the public um, hotline, the, uh, the, the public um, health hotline. The day before that, we had 850. But uh, uh, since 2 o'clock, the press conference yesterday, it spiked uh, in dramatically. A lot of Victorians um, making inquiries whether to come to Tasmania or not, but obviously they were informed about the situation um, that applies now. The Premier will be making some more announcements tomorrow afternoon about border restrictions with the rest of the country. Tomorrow following National Cabinet, uh, I will confirm our position on our borders. Uh, obviously very clearly yesterday I ruled out uh, opening up to Victoria on the 24th of uh, this month. Uh, we will continue to take advice tonight uh, in terms of how we will treat and deal with other states and territories. And for obvious reasons, uh, there are some that uh, are very safe at the moment. South Australia has um, uh, no evidence of community transmission, likewise the Northern Territory, uh, likewise Queensland, uh, but obviously New South Wales is having some challenges at the moment and in terms of the steps that they have taken, uh, we'll need to be uh, satisfied that that's going to keep uh, New South Wales free and clear of the challenges that are occurring in Victoria. But I'll have more to say uh, on this uh, tomorrow afternoon post-National Cabinet. Tune into the ABC Hobart Facebook page, website or YouTube to make sure you're up to date with the latest.